because I'm trying to make sure the cable doesn't go and like hit the top of the microphone. Try to make sure that the microphone doesn't hit the microphone. So many cables. Yeah, because today we're recording remotely. Because Nisha, I believe you're going on holiday soon. Yes. Tomorrow. Yes, you don't want to risk coming to the office and having your holiday cancelled because we were talking about Tom Hanks as a <laughs> Forrest Gump is a movie in which a well-meaning idiot stumbles ass backwards through history whilst running at speeds normally reserved for cheaters that have just had their balls whipped by a wet towel. Something that required the actor playing Forrest Gump, Tom Hanks, to run. Like a lot. Which apparently his wife enjoyed very much because of how much it made Tom Hanks' ass look sculpted and defined. However, this inadvertently resulted in the studio having to bring in a very special person to replace Hanks for some scenes. Namely, his own brother. First of all, Nisha, did you know that Tom Hanks had a brother? Who is an actor? No. As soon as you said that, I was like, wait, he has a brother? Yes, Tom Hanks has a brother called Jim Hanks who looks and sounds exactly like he does, but is nowhere near as successful. And uh, Nisha, have you watched the show Scrubs? I've seen the odd clip, but I haven't like watched it all the whole way through. Oh, okay. Well, I think nothing sums up just like how much the career of the lesser Hanks, as it were, um, has like faltered in comparison to his brothers, is that his most well-known role is a side character on Scrubs. That is a, in itself, a reference to a role Tom Hanks played. Oh, I'm just scrolling down the article and there's that screenshot, and yeah, he does look like him. Yeah, he looks exactly like Tom Hanks, but he's nowhere near as rich or successful. Uh, but Tom Hanks, being a very famously nice guy, has ensured that his brother's been able to earn a pretty steady paycheck, pretending to be him. That isn't to say that Jim Hanks um, hasn't had a career in his own right, it's that it's nowhere near as good as Tom Hanks's, because Tom Hanks's career is just fucking amazing. <laughs> He's had so many good roles. Like, if you, you sat there and went, did you know he had a brother? That just shows, like, how little people know of him. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like when you learn that Will Smith has a forgotten third son. <laughs> uh, uh, y- what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, like, the forgotten third Smith child. Um, and then also, I think it's, like, Ozzy Osbourne as well has, like, a third child. No one knows what. Who was on the show The Osbournes in the background of scenes but never signed off on them appearing in the show. So they never spoke. Yeah, imagine being able to grow up normal when Ozzy Osbourne's your dad. <laughs> God. It, have you ever seen that clip where someone asks Ozzy Osbourne, like, are you on drugs right now? And then he speaks in Braille. Wait, what? <laughs> Have you seen? I'm going to bring it up for me right now. I'm going to send you the clip, like YouTube. Let's bring it up right here. Type in Ozzy Osbourne, are you sober now? And there will be a video that's seven seconds long. Don't worry, folks at home, there will be a clip for you when Nisha's is watched. Just listen to Ozzy Osbourne speak in Braille. <laughs> are you sober now? Who? It's like fucking flawless. Oh my like, God. Would a man who's not sober able to speak seven languages at once like Ozzy Osbourne did in that clip? Are you sober now? No, no, yeah, yeah. I'm never, but I, 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 I We'll bring it back to the smaller, weaker Hanks brother. The elder Alpha Hanks has ensured that his brother has got a steady supply of work over the years um, due to the fact that there's a bunch of stuff he doesn't want to do, such as voicing Woody in everything but the Toy Story movies. Ah. Okay. Now, have uh, you ever seen that interview with Tom Hanks where, like, Graham Norton just says, Is this you? Because we had an argument behind the scenes of whether or not you're the voice of the Woody doll. Because it does sound a lot like you, but we can't imagine you sitting there in the recording booth for a toy. No, and Tom Hanks just says, No, that's my brother. They get him in um, for stuff like that. And he's the one who's in all the video games. Oh, okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Boy, am I glad to see you. Is that you? No, it's my brother, Jim. <laughs> So when it comes to anything Toy Story related, that's not one of the movies, they'll just call up Jim Hanks. Imagine like having a job where you're a voice actor, but everyone thinks it's someone else. Well, so that means he's done a good job though. Yeah, I suppose Because if should. people think it's, like the whole point is that Woody is just Tom Hanks' regular voice. So if Jim Hanks sounds exactly like it's to the point people think it's his brother, that shows why he got hired. And um, there's a couple of examples of that in um, uh, like the real world. I think it's a guy called James C. 
who sounds almost exactly like Jackie Chan to the point where they all, they have him dub over Jackie Chan and he's the voice of Jackie Chan in Jackie Chan Adventures. Even though Jackie Chan Adventures had Jackie Chan as an executive producer on the show and he did the live skits at the end, meaning that he was in the studio for them but didn't do the voice of the character called Jackie Chan who's based on Jackie Chan in a show called Jackie Chan Adventures. What? Why would, you, why would he not Chan. do that? <laughs> why exactly. Not? Why not? But the weirdest one though is the PS2 game Scarface The World Is Yours which is a alternate ending to the Scarface movie in which Tony Montana survives and rebuilds his like drug empire and you can buy tigers and shit and the voice actor for Tony Montana in that game is not Al Pacino but Al Pacino did pick the person who was Tony Montana so he sat in on the recording process and picked the person to voice Tony Montana but did not do the Tony Montana voice but he could have done it himself he could have done, because he sat there and he picked the person to do the voice. Bring it back to Jim Hanks and uh, him often being brought in to replace his brother for scenes his brother does not want to do. In the film Forrest Gump, Jim Hanks was the one who did a lot of the long shots of Forrest Gump running. So did Tom Hanks do any of the running shots? He did almost every single one of the running shots. They just brought his brother in to do some pickup shots and long shots, Joe, you know, like when he's in the distance. I think like the silhouette of him running like against the backdrop of the mountain. Stuff like that, when they like just wanted to get those shots for the movie when they realised they wanted them in the edit, and just like, well, fuck it, we're not bringing Tom Hanks back, let's get his brother to do it. And uh, according to Tom Hanks, like, uh, Forrest Gump is low-key his wife's favourite movie that he's been in, because he got in phenomenal shape, because in addition to having to do all the running, he also had to do, like, the ping-pong. The hospital's people said it made me look like a duck in water. Fun fact, folks at home, there's no ping pong ball in that scene. The ping pong ball is CGI. Oh, no. <laughs> the ping that blows so many people's minds when they realise that. It's like, yeah, the ping pong ball is CGI. But also, at the same time, I can believe that because otherwise yep. he would have to learn how to be a champion at ping pong. <laughs> he did get pretty good at ping pong, but for like, you know, the scenes where he's having like, the crazy rallies, then it's CGI. But for, like, for some of the early shots, like, he did actually have to learn to play ping pong, just not to an Olympic level like Forrest Gump does. He also did like, you know, the, the shot of him running, playing like um, in the NFL and all those. And then the shots of him running while carrying out like, Lieutenant Dan with his no legs and all those. So like, it was a pretty physically demanding role. And because of that, Tom Hanks got in great shape. And in particular, he got a very round and sculpted asshole, which his wife greatly enjoyed. And when that film comes up on TV, because Tom Hanks is talking about it, it's like, yeah, like when I'm scrolling, if, um, if Forrest Gump's on, I don't really like watching movies. I mean, my wife loves going, no, hang on, hang on, Tom. Just wait for the running scene. <laughs> and the running scene will come on, and she'll just point at his ass and go, look at that. Like a <laughs> pair of hams. A pair of hams right there. And she'll just like, she'll bite a bottom lip and say, okay, you can turn it over now. Oh my God, amazing. <laughs> and every now and again, if it comes by on, on the cable, uh, my wife will say, Let, just leave it here, honey. I just I think want, to see that, I want to see that one scene where you're running away from the camera. And we can look at that fine Hank's ass. <laughs> just, that thing where he just sat there watching his wife lust over a younger version of himself. And I can understand why Tom Hanks doesn't like watching that movie, because how many times per day do you think someone yells, run, forest, run, at Tom Hanks? Yeah, it must get pretty annoying. And it must be yeah. so weird to like just be sat at home, scrolling through TV and just see something that you're in. Yeah. I, I'd be exactly like Tom, because I don't like watching stuff that I've been in. My mum watches these videos, but she watches them on like the massive TV in the front room. And it's like, I'm just gonna put it out there. I don't need to be seen on like, in 4K. I've, got, I've seen my mum, my mom, she'll put the videos on while I'm there, like, ooh, this is a new one, I'm not seeing it. It's like, mum, I'm right here. You can just ask me and I'll tell you the thing in the video. And she puts it on, it's like, no, I don't want to see what's on 4K. But I think now we should bring it back to the Omega Hanks and how his like specific style of running was on his brother getting paid pretty well for a couple of weeks' work. So is there a reason why they had to bring in Jim Hanks to replace Tom Hanks? They asked the producer on the movie, like, why don't you just get a body double to do it? Why do we specifically need to hire Tom Hanks as brother? Yes, they physically look alike, but if it's for a long shot where you can't see his face, we don't see why that's an issue. Now, it turns out that Tom Hanks runs like an idiot. So much so that it's ingrained in him on a genetic level, and Jim Hanks also runs in the exact same way. And according to Jim Hanks, um, when he was asked about this, like, is it true you did the, the running scenes? 
in Forrest Gump when they couldn't find your brother or when he was like busy doing something. I was like, yeah, um, uh, they apparently got someone else in, but nobody could do the run right. <laughs> Um, apparently it's just a goofy Hanks thing that only we do. <laughs> they got all the people in and they looked at it. The run just doesn't look right. They're not doing the right run. That weird, goofy, just the super stiff yeah. run that Tom Hanks does in that movie. Like, apparently nobody else could replicate that realistically enough that you'd, uh, you wouldn't notice it. So they got Jim Hanks. He's expanding. He runs in the same way. <laughs> it's just genetically ingrained in all Hanks men to run like they're on the verge of shitting themselves. <laughs> 